Hi guys, uh, what I'm going to do is make a series of videos here. I've actually already made the videos. Um, this is just kind of the introduction. I needed to build a, a new computer to use for work and I figured well I might as well videotape the process in case some of you have never built a computer before and don't know what some of the parts look like and how they fit together. Uh, might as well uh, make a, a little series. I've been building computers for about 20 years now uh, to kind of date myself and so um, my nephew also wanted to uh, learn how to build a computer, my nephew Austin here, and so he's going to be the cameraman for these videos. Instead of editing them all together into one long video, um, I decided just to leave these as short clips. Uh, some of them are, you know, three minutes, some of them are ten minutes, and make a playlist. And so if you um, need to find the playlist, you can either go to my channel, Berkey Academy, on YouTube, or you can go to my website, www.berkeyacademy.com, and I'll put a link to the playlist down at the bottom of the front page uh, just on www.berkeyacademy.com you'll see it down there. Uh, let me just real quickly run through the the list of the main parts that are going into this PC real quickly and give you an idea of what I paid for them over here. Um, in order to build a PC you need a, a box to put everything in we call that the case and I'm using an Antec 300. It's it's kind of a cheaper case, uh, not a lot of frills to it. Um, it's a really good quality case, um, but nothing really fancy. Uh, I'm using the Illusion version that comes with a couple of extra fans and some blue LEDs that look pretty. Uh, the motherboard, which is really the heart and soul of the computer, I'm using an Asus. Uh, I've always loved their motherboards and the version I'm using is called the P8Z77V. They have a lot of different versions of this motherboard um, and these uh, can go the cheaper versions around a hundred and uh, some of the fancier versions with a lot of extra options uh, in the two hundred dollar plus range. Um, mine's kind of a middle of the road one about 140. Um, I paid about 60 for the case I got some discounts from Newegg.com for for buying bundles of goods and had some coupons and so these are basically like the list prices and then I got some some discounts down here. Uh, the motherboard, whenever you're building a computer, there are three three components that really have to work together well. So you have to pay a lot of attention to these three components to make sure they're all going to fit together. That's the motherboard. The motherboard dictates what kind of processor you can use and what kind of memory you can use. And so with this motherboard, the ASUS uh, P82Z77, it's designed to use um, some of the more recent um, Intel processors like the i3, i5, i7. Um, I'm using the a Core i5 chip, it's uh, one of the latest generation um, of the Intel core processors uh, it's a 3570K. The 3570K is the latest generation of what they call the Ivy Bridge processors. Ivy Bridge processors are uh, a new uh, fabrication where um, all the circuits are designed on a much smaller scale that makes it uh, generate less heat and use less power. This uh, processor uses about 75 watts of power, whereas uh, some some recent ones, um, other recent processors have used in the neighborhood of 135 or 140 watts. So very power efficient, uh, but also a very powerful processor. The K on the end of uh, one of these processors uh, means that it is unlocked. Unlocked means that you have a lot more fl uh, flexibility to overclock it, to run the processor faster than the stock speed. And so this Core i5 uh, is supposed to run at 3.4 gigahertz, that's the stock speed. Um, I'm going to be running it 
probably about 4 to 4.2 gigahertz um, so a little bit faster uh, so these these two components the motherboard and the CPU really need to work uh, be designed to work together so when you pick a um, motherboard check to see what which CPUs it can support uh, the third component that really are important to match to make sure that they go along with the type of processor and motherboard is the memory and so down here the memory I'm using uh, got a good deal on it about six months ago uh, G skill rip jaws series um, memory I have uh, two sticks of four gigabytes each so I'll have eight gigabytes uh, worth of memory going into this uh, computer I paid about 30 bucks for that um, other components that you want to have I'm putting two hard drives in this computer one is a Seagate here uh, that's a one terabyte hard drive and the other is a Samsung it's about a it's a two terabyte hard drive the one terabyte that I both paid about a hundred dollars each for these the one terabyte is is a faster hard drive that I'll be installing the operating system on the two terabyte is a slower hard drive that I'll use for backups and for storing large files and things like that um, I'm also putting a DVD drive in here that I paid about 20 bucks for and then here are some of the discounts and rebates that I got so um, the total for everything going into this computer is uh, was about six hundred thirty dollars after the rebates uh, plus about thirty dollars for a copy of Windows 7 and uh, so the total price is going to be under uh, seven hundred dollars for this computer it's not going to be anything really really fancy um, but it's going to be a really good solid uh, fairly speedy uh, work computer for me uh, to do my research and um, data analysis and things like that on I'm not putting a video card in this computer um, why not well this core i5 processor uh, the K means two things one it's unlocked like I said before the other thing is these K version uh, of the processors have um, a faster video chip right on the um, processor itself in previous years say five years ago processors didn't have any video processing capability um, these days most processors come with some sort of uh, video chip built right on the CPU itself and so uh, this K version has what's called an HD 4000 chip which isn't really it isn't a bad video processing chip it's probably not a, good enough for a hardcore gamer that plays the latest 3D games but it is plenty powerful to play um, you know your average sort of game um, certainly any any online games um, or or kind of simple games like Minecraft and it's is certainly plenty good enough uh, for standard kind of office work and so I uh, get to save a little bit of um, money and a little bit of uh, power consumption also by not putting in a separate video card into this build so what I'm going to do in the next videos, I think it's going to be about 16 or 17 videos, is go through step by step um, what these parts look like and how to build a, a PC out of them. In the next video, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, show you what all these components look like, and uh, then we'll go from there. So I hope you'll uh, join me for the ride here, and I uh, hope you enjoy this series of videos.